So this week's lesson is um, on creating effective video ads. And so I'm sure in, in our industry, we all know about Harmon Brothers. Uh, we've seen the Dollar Shave Clubs. We've seen Purple Mattress. I mean, we've seen at this point in, in, uh, in all of our careers, we've probably seen some pretty amazing um, videos, you know, video ads at least. Um, however, that can be a little daunting, you know, for myself as well. You know, I got a team of 14 people, you know, we're companies doing well. Um, it's still hard to be able to create. How are you supposed to be able to create one of those kind of videos and then do some split testing, you know? And so if you've read the Hartman Brothers book, you know, they don't just create like one video. They actually create a lot of versions of it. They tell you themselves that they're spending anywhere from a half million to over a million dollars on one of these productions. You know, I'm not spending that kind of money, you know, on video. So I realized early on when I was, I was like, all right, I finally have to face the music. We got to do video ads. And, and I'm telling all of y'all right now, if you're not doing video ads, you're really missing out. You're losing out. You've really got, they perform a lot better. Not only do they perform a lot better, you're just given a lot of, um, a lot more features in the ad networks today with the videos. You can just do much better ad campaigns. The video ads work better. They're getting more reach. They're getting cheaper costs. You, you really can't escape it anymore. So when I realized that I couldn't escape it anymore, I said, well, I need to be able to create cheap, videos because I knew where the algorithms are going, the machine learning, right? We know that we need lots of ad creative, uh, YouTube especially. YouTube is just starving for creative. We already know Facebook is starving for creative. They just don't like to keep showing people the same ad over and over again. So I said, okay, well, I got to be able to create something really cheap. Well, I discovered, um, you know, a, a video method called the, the B-roll video. All right. That's what I call it. Maybe somebody else calls it something else. You know, it just is a pretty simple way to refer to it. What a B-roll video is, is instead of uh, like right now, we're doing a, a talking head kind of video, you know, and they work, you know, but, you know, if you don't have overlays, they can get boring if you don't have different. Um, so you, you if you're going to do a talking head kind of video, you need to have a couple of cameras set up so you have different angles. You have to be changing the screen every eight seconds per best practices. You know, if you study up on production, video production, video editing, that's kind of what needs to be happening in order to keep the, the viewer engaged. So what you see a lot of YouTubers doing, uh, you know, what I'm, one of the things I'm doing is, as well is, you know, making sure my hands get up on screen every once in a while uh, to keep attention and keep movement going. And, and so the YouTubers will put overlays. So anyways, that can get a little bit more editing, you know, a little harder in the editing. And so instead, what a B-roll video is, you're just going to clip together a bunch of B-roll. So you're going to write a script and we'll talk about the process here in a little bit, but you're going to write a script and then you would want to storyboard it. So, you, you know, as you're looking at your script, you know, what kind of imagery needs to be seen? Okay, well, I'm talking about walking down my hallway in this scene, you know, in this part of the script. So I need a B-roll clip of a person, probably for me, a man walking down a hallway. And then he's greeted with a surprise from his friend. And so now there's another little clip of someone shaking hands, you know, greeting someone at the door, you know, so you want to put together a bunch of these clips. Now, a tool that I use for this is called Promo. Um, it's it's promo.com. There's actually a few different tools. You're welcome to use whichever one you want. You know, everybody wants to know which tool I'm using. You know, uh, I use Promo. I thought their price, you know, especially for, for a lot of you, I hate to say this, you know, <laughs> one business owner, uh, to another, I hate to say, like, you can just get in there for a month, create your videos, and you can put it on pause. If you have to do that, you know, I understand everybody's got different needs, different phases of life and whatever. So do what you need to do. I'm saying you couldn't get in, you could get in there for a one month fee, create your video, and then pause it uh, for however long you need to. However, I think it's a very affordable tool. It allows you to do all of this stuff. And what I really like, let me share my screen really quick here. I will do desktop, share, and then here. Hopefully, you all can see my screen here. We're on promo. And they have a bunch of different templates 
that you can use. If you're not good at creating video, you don't really fancy yourself a video editor. I, I liked just putting my own, I just, sometimes people put templates together. I don't like how they do things. And for me, for my own workflow, it's easier for me to just like start from scratch and kind of place all my own things in there instead of having to like undo everybody else's stuff in there. But you can find some good ones in there. My wife, she much prefers templates. And so she would just look for one that's close to what she likes and then just like edit the text on there. So these, uh, you know, create a bunch of templates for you that you can use. And these, you know, really is designed to create the B-roll videos. These work extremely well. We use these for our retargeting recipes book. We use them, I don't know, I don't know if Andrew's on here and he remembers, you know, how long, but, you know, we ended up doing about 2.4 million off of that book before the offer finally fatigued and uh, it's working well on Google ads. Now we just ran so many different ads to it for uh, a long time. And it eventually, you know, we just drove it to, I guess, to as many people as we could. And uh, it just started fatiguing on Facebook works really well on Google. But anyways, we use this exact same type of video um, on here. And it worked really well. What you want to do with a, with a promo video, with a B-roll video, is you want to start with a script, okay? Because the script is going to let you know what B-roll you need in there. It can be really hard if you're going to go in there and you're going to start just trying to piece together things. So you really want to script something out. I find, you know, about 500, 800 words gives you, you know, one to three, depends on how fast you read, you know, uh, but, you know, one to three minute footage. So write yourself about 500 to 800 words script. And then if you want, you know, what we did is we went to Fiverr and we got voiceovers, or you can make your own voiceovers. It sounds a little bit better when you use somebody else's voiceover, you know, you can get better accents. You don't have the same stuttering. Uh, I know we all think uh, our voices are amazing, but maybe they're not all amazing as we think they are. So uh, we grab, uh, I write a script, then somebody grabs uh, a Fiverr gig for the audio. And then from there, we take the audio and we put together some promo B-roll footage. You can also, one thing is um, promo has a lot of the stock footage from iStock, but they don't have it all. And so if you really want to make yours good, don't only rely on promo. They, there's a lot of good stuff in there and you can really do well just having the promo stock footage in there. However, I found there was some imagery that I really didn't, I couldn't find perfect, you know, that really match. And so I kind of pieced together some stock footage from iStockphoto.com. I think it's iStock.com now, but um, you know, grab their stock footage. You can find some great stuff in there. Does get a little bit more pricey when you're buying some of your own stock footage and then putting it in there, but you're going to be able to use this over and over and over again, you know, especially when it's things like um, searching this topic, you know, you can find B-roll of somebody going to Google and searching a topic, you know, you can find B-roll of somebody ringing a cash register, you know, there's a lot of those types of footage that you'll use over and over again in different videos. So iStock with promo, you're going to be able to get all the footage that you need. So you've written your script, you've gotten your, uh, your voiceover, you put your B-roll videos together, you put your audio in there with it. They even have background music that you can use. And the other thing about with promo is you know that everything you're using, you're going to have copyrights too, you know, because they're they're only giving you the things that you're going to be allowed to use. So you, you're not going to have to worry about strikes on your account or anything like that. So using promo, you do your audio voiceover, you get your B-roll, you upload the audio in there. It's going to be uh, your audio track with it. You might have a little bit of a jingle jingle. Big thing about background music, okay, guys, please, for the for the sake of all of our ears on YouTube, please match the tone of your background music with the visuals, okay, and then don't, it shouldn't be too loud, okay, it's called background music, it's supposed to be in the background, we're not, we're barely supposed to be able to hear it, it's just supposed to add a little bit of a, an emotional layer, to your, to your actual music, you know? Um, so just, you know, one, make sure your background music is on theme. Okay. Just because you like dubstep doesn't mean everybody likes dubstep. Okay. You know, and just because 
you like corn freak on a leash doesn't mean everybody likes corn freak on a leash or you know uh, no no issue to the corn people out there uh but make sure it's on theme and then make sure it's low you know you want it to be like 20 percent of your voice you don't want it to be you don't want people struggling to hear the message it's the message that actually matters you're going to render render that video and then here's the other thing okay Maybe all that sounds like common sense. Maybe some of this is is new to some of y'all, and you found a new resource or whatever. But you know, here's the other thing that you gotta you're really gonna want to add on to this is you're gonna want to have um, Ed Dale. He calls it the top and tail. Uh, I think that's a great, cool little name. He's great at naming things. He's always got the little rhymes and you know, way of saying things. Uh, so what it is is you want to kind of create three sections of your video you have your body your main message that doesn't change that is so you need to create a lot of creative right and so you're going to be able all in i think all in i was able to create a video for like 500 bucks that's a you know i know i understand like 500 bucks can be a lot for a video but we just dropped it down from 500,000 right the harman brothers they were at 500,000 we're now at just 500 and now I'm going to show you how to take like a $500 video and make multiple videos out of it. I was able to get my process down to about $150, $200 per ad. And that's that's pretty good. You know, you really only need to be creating three, maybe 10 of these things. And then you just need to be rotating them. So the top and tail method, you know, you have your body and then you're just going to add new intros and outros. Okay. So if you have three intros, three outros and one body, you're going to be able to create, I believe, nine different ads, if I've done my math correctly, three times three. Um, now, if you go one step further and you add just one other body, like you're split testing one other body message. So uh, with ad skills, we have like agencies and then we have, and I hate to say this, you know, our company, we use like there's agencies and there's businesses. We realize agencies are businesses too. Okay. You, you guys got feelings, you know, your businesses too. Uh, but what we kind of mean is like, there's the DIY businesses, right? They're buying ads for themselves. And then there's agencies who are buying ads on behalf of other businesses. So you can have two different body messages. Now the math starts to get nutty. I think it goes from like nine to like 24 or something like that. Um, just having two body messages three intros, three outros uh, really allows you to start creating a lot of different messages and allows you to start getting around all those different, um, the fresh creative, needing to have lots of fresh creative. So that's the process. You're going to write your script, storyboard, get your imaging right, okay? Then you're going to get your audio voiceover you're going to create a B-roll video inside promo. You may need to grab some stock footage from iStock, stock video footage. And then you want to render it all together, but make sure you have like at the top and the tail and a body message. And then you're going to be able to create, you know, using almost the exact same resources, you're going to be able to create 9, 12, 24 videos very quickly. And this is going to really just change the game for you. And with your video ads, you're going to be able to split test a lot of different things and keep moving. And that kind of gives you a framework for being able to consistently split test your video ads as you go forward. All right. So that's the lesson of the week, how to create effective video ads for YouTube and all the different social media networks out there.